a couple, I would like to make two points. Uh, so Lennox, your question about about um, sort of the online space. I think I think there is Iroko TV uh, in in the in the Nollywood space, which has tried to actually become like an, a Nollywood Netflix, and and it is has been bought by Netflix. There you go. <laughs> so so I think Nollywood did actually break the market. You know, so so it is it it, 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 it it actually did crack the market, and that's important. And typically, if there is demand, there will always be uh, a business there. Um, look at look at the so-called war on drugs and how they they failed to to win it since Nixon's time. In, you know, when he declared the war on drugs, it's because there is demand. Um, and until you until there is no more demand. You know, you always, you never win the war on drugs. So here, maybe we need to work out the nature of the demand uh, for the kind of content that we're making and whether we're making the right content. Are we simply saying that audiences in Zimbabwe are apathetic? No, they are not. They are not apathetic. They want to watch films. So they watch lots of Hollywood. They download films. They pirate films. They watch, you know, all kinds of films. At the moment, there is a craze going around on DSTV with, with Z World which is like Indian uh, soapies and so on and so forth. So people do want to watch stories. So wh wh what are we getting wrong? We are, we, we are saying we don't have a film industry. We are saying we make, we are making films, maybe not as many as we should or as we want. There is an audience. So clearly the problem seems to be somewhere along the way. The route to market seems to be blocked somehow. Uh, uh, our audiences are there, the filmmakers are there. But, but we can't just seem to cross. So perhaps, you know, so Joe jo says maybe we should call ourselves a film community, and I think it's an important intervention. Maybe we don't need a film industry. You know, maybe we shouldn't keep hankering after a film industry. We need something different. Because in South Africa there is a film industry, but it is completely fragmented. You've got the Afrikaans film industry, which does very well and is supported very well by this uh, corporate sector. Then you've got the black film industry. Uh, where if they don't get grants from the National Film and Video Foundation, they can't make films. Uh, and then you've got lots of low-budget filmmakers in Joburg, in Deben, in Peter Marisberg, in Cape Town, who are just making zero-budget films because they can't get the money that they should be getting and so on. And yet they call it a, a South African film industry. But, but, but the audiences are not watching those kinds of films that, that are being made for them. So. Do we want a film industry? Or maybe we need to change the narrative and say, maybe what we want is not necessarily a film industry. We want something else different to, 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 to what, what is, uh, is assumed by, by South African film industry. But I do think the online space is important uh, in maybe, first of all, gathering intelligence on our audiences. We don't have that intelligence at the moment. It's all over the place. So people like Tom and Joe, and Dorothy are making films but throwing them in the dark, you know, and just hoping that maybe one of them will catch and, and so on. But we don't have the proper intelligence, like, what do they want? What do they desire? Do they like this or do they, do they not like it? And so perhaps we need to do a lot more, and, and, and I know social media can help us in gathering data on what, what, what our audience want. And maybe once we gather the data, then we work out how do we break through. To, 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 to get to the route to the, mar to, 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 to the market. But just one last thing to say is that maybe it's an opportunity. A situation where there is where, where there's so much in flux, where there's not much going on, but much also going on, lots of contradictions. I think it's a big opportunity. I think Zimbabwe, Harare, Blawayo, we're on the cusp of something big, only maybe if the timing and opportunity are right.